Hey everyone, it's Lauren and today is Saturday, August 17th. And it kind of just clicked today that I leave for training and for world championships on August 22nd, which is this coming Thursday. And I'm gone for basically three weeks. So I'm gone from August 22nd till September 16th. So it kind of occurred to me that I should probably start packing and getting some stuff together to leave. So this is gonna be kind of like a vlog style video, me just like getting everything that I need to get together, packing, running errands, groceries, all that kind of stuff so that I am ready for August 22nd and ready for training. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna start packing. I don't think you guys really wanna see me packing everything. So I'm just gonna do a quick time lapse and then we'll go from there. So I think that's all the packing I'm gonna do today. It's not really a lot, but at least it's a somewhere to start. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to watch Beach Nationals um, for the last day for playoffs. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll pack a little bit more tomorrow night. And then um, I think throughout this week, I'm actually going shopping with some teammates for some clothes for Egypt. I need to go to the travel clinic at some point to get my typhoid shot. I already have my hepatitis A and B shot, but I need to get that and I probably need to get Do Girl too. Then I also need to go to get more protein powder and um, some more bio steel, I think. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, so it is Monday and um, I actually got a chance to go to Shoppers today um, to pick up some stuff. So, I know I said I would go to a GMC to get some BioSteel, but they actually had it at Shoppers. Um, this is like a substitute for Gatorade. I personally prefer it more. It's just a powder, but um, I personally prefer it, and my favorite one is the lemon lime flavor, so I got that. And then there are some stuff, like I just got some allergy medication. I got um, some Advil. I don't know if I will actually be able to use this because the um, FIVB like drug tests, so they're very particular about what medication you can take and if it's on the prohibited list. So I'm not sure if this Advil has any active ingredients that's on the prohibited list, but that will be something I have to ask my trainer once I get there. Bought a face mask for downtime with my um, teammates. And then I got redness eye drops because my eyes are literally always dry when I travel. So gotta have these. So basically after I went to shoppers and everything, my friend Amanda came and she's actually right here. <laughs> she's watching now. I just, um, we were hanging out today because this is probably the last time I'm going to get to see her before I go off for training. So she's, <laughs> so she's right behind the camera. Um, but anyway, so if we continue on this little haul, yesterday, my mom was kind of going through her stuff and being like, oh, do you need this, this, this? So I'll show you a few things that she gave me. I don't know if I'm going to bring all of this, but here we have this lumbar support that you put behind your back when you're on a plane. So I don't know if I'm going to use that. We have a neck pillow, which I will definitely use. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then she gave me this blanket for the airport. And then this kind of seems weird and unnecessary, but I was actually surprised that she has these. These are compression socks. And um, my trainer last year, I remember, they were always suggesting that when you're on long flights, you should bring compression socks because your feet swell when you're like up in really high altitudes and whatever. So my mom had these compression socks, so I will be wearing these on the plane and I think this is my favorite thing that she gave me. Oh, hold on. This is gonna be a spur of the moment decision. Not exactly quite sure if I will be using this on the plane, but I guess we will see eventually. In Egypt and I think in, in Europe as well, the sockets are like this. So it's like a two prong thing. So basically these are adapters for when I wanna plug my chargers in. So that's all the stuff that my mom gave me. I will definitely start packing that stuff. I still need to get my protein powder. I think my dad is actually picking that up for me from a nature source. There's one in Mississauga. That's the one that I get most of 
my supplements and uh, protein powders from. So he's picking that up for me. Tomorrow, um, I'm going to the travel clinic to get my typhoid shot. I scheduled that today. So I'll be doing that. And then I'll also be going to the mall tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. All right, so it is Wednesday night and uh, I leave tomorrow around noon. So I'm just finishing up some packing and stuff, but I wanted to show you guys some other things that I just got for my trip. So basically, as I said before, my dad picked me up uh, some protein powder. This is a paleo protein powder. I don't follow the paleo diet, but um, this is one that I'm not allergic to. It's a beef-based protein. I'm allergic to whey and soy, so I kind of have to use something else. It doesn't taste like beef. It's French vanilla flavored, but yeah, that's what this is. Next, I actually got some new shoes. I've actually needed some new running shoes for a little while now, but I just got these ones from Under Armour. Lastly, I got some of these Made Good bars. These are literally, I live off of these granola bars when I train. On top of the whey and soy, I'm also allergic to peanuts and other tree nuts, so a lot of like protein bars and stuff I can't eat. These definitely don't give the same amount of energy as like a Cliff Bar would or something like that, but it's definitely good for during in training because they're very light and um, they're fairly healthy so I use these a lot. So with that said I just need to finish up some packing. I still have to figure out my whole suitcase situation. I think I'm gonna bring two suitcases like one to check and then one as a carry-on luggage because I have a lot of stuff. I need to finish packing that up now so I'm gonna do that. So I'm pretty much done packing everything, I think. Um, tomorrow, obviously I'll throw in a few last minute things, but for the most part, I think I'm done. I'm not bringing a volleyball bag because our coach actually mentioned that we will be getting volleyball Canada bags once we get there. So I'm just bringing my shoes and my knee pads and all that kind of stuff in like a little plastic bag until I get there. And then I will be putting all of that stuff into my volleyball bag. Other than that, I did end up using two suitcases, so, I'm gonna need to be able to wheel that all around when we're going on trains and planes and all that kind of stuff, but there's literally no other way I can fit everything unless I bring two suitcases. So that's what we're doing. So it is Thursday morning. My mom just made me an amazing breakfast before I leave, so I'm so grateful for her. Um, but yeah, I'm leaving at noon today and I'm so excited to see everyone. Um, I guess the next time I'll talk to you guys is um, at training and in Slovenia, which is so crazy to hear, but I look forward to seeing you guys soon. And um, until then, bye.